Failure modes and effects analysis. Failure modes and effects analysis is a systematic, proactive method for evaluating a process to identify where and how it might fail and to assess the relative impact of different failures in order to identify the parts of the process that are most in need of change. It seeks to enhance patient safety by reducing risk potential in high risk processes. Failure modes and effects analysis includes review of the following steps in the process, failure modes, that is, what could go wrong, failure causes, that is, why would the failure happen, failure effects, that is, what would be the consequences of each failure. Common terminologies used in FMEA are failure mode. This is the manner in which a product part can fail to meet specification. It is usually associated with a defect or non conformance Effect. It is the impact on a customer if a failure mode is not prevented or corrected. Cause. It is the deficiency that results in a failure mode. Causes are sources of variability associated with key process input variables. Let's have a view of the video lecture and e-lecture which will explain the concept of failure mode and effects analysis. A senior doctor guides medical students that how failure mode and effects analysis helps to evaluate the processes and systems of hospitals. Sir, Recently, a patient died during his magnetic resonance imaging process in our hospital. How did it happen and how can we prevent such accidents to occur in the hospitals? Students, such accidents can be prevented by performing failure mode and effects analysis in the hospital. But sir, what is the failure mode and effects analysis? Well, failure mode and effects analysis is a structured way to find out and address potential problems or failures and their resulting effects on the system or process before an adverse event occurs. C. MRI produces intense magnetic field that patient was killed by a flying fire extinguisher pulled off the wall by the MRI. Sir, then how FMEA can be helpful? FMEA helps to identify potential failure modes that means all the manners in which the part or process of MRI could fail. So, what could be the potential failure modes in MRI? It could be cracked, loosened, deformed, leaking, oxidized and overlooked. Right. And what could be the potential effects of failure in this case? I mean, what could be the consequences on the other system, parts or people? It could be noise, unstable, inoperative, impaired, injury or death. The consequence of a fire extinguisher getting pulled off of the wall is that it could hit someone. Absolutely right. Now identify potential causes of failure such as incorrect material, improper maintenance, fatigue, wear and also calculate RPN that is risk priority number for each step of MRI process. Then design and implement improvement changes to reduce or prevent problems. Finally monitor action taken and effects on RPN. So this is how FMEA helps to evaluate the process and minimize the faults. We now understood well how FMEA works. Thank you, sir. Failure mode and effects analysis. FMEA is a simple way of predicting what might go wrong. By using a structured method, results can be quantified and hence compared. Failure mode and effects analysis, FMEA, is a method that is designed to identify and fully understand potential failure modes and their causes and the effects of failure on the system or end users for a given product or process. Assess the risk associated with the identified failure modes, effects and causes and prioritize issues for corrective action. Identify and carry out corrective actions to address the most serious concerns. By failure of a process, we refer to any malfunction, error or defect that results in a process not performing as intended 
or not meeting desired requirements or standards. By failure mode, we refer to anything that could go wrong during the completion of a step in a process. Causes of a failure include all possible mechanisms or means that result in the failure mode and the effects of a failure typically include the customer's experience that results from the failure mode. Effects analysis refers to studying the consequences of those failures. The main objective of failure mode effects and analysis is to improve the design. The various objectives for conducting the failure mode effects and analysis are identifying and preventing safety hazards, minimizing loss of product performance or performance degradation, improving test and verification plans in the case of system or design failure mode effects and analysis, improving process control plans in the case of process failure mode effects and analysis, considering changes to the product design or manufacturing process, identifying significant product or process characteristics, developing preventive maintenance plans for in-service machinery and equipment, developing online diagnostic techniques. Tools for predicting failure modes. There are various operational tools exist for proactively predicting the occurrence of failure and minimizing the risk of occurrence of failure in future. Differing slightly in focus and methodology, each of such tools allows complex operational systems to be examined with the objective of identifying factors predisposing to error occurrence. Let's watch the video lecture which will give you more information about the tools that are used for predicting failure modes. Tools for predicting failure modes. There are various operational tools that exist for proactive prediction of the occurrence of failure and hence for minimizing the risk of occurrence of failure in future. All of such tools emphasize on determining what could possibly go wrong or what has gone wrong, especially in the past. Differing slightly in focus and methodology, each of such tools allows complex operational systems to be examined with the objective of identifying factors predisposing to error occurrence. Many of these tools were developed in the engineering field such as risk assessment, hazard analysis, FMEA and fault tree analysis. These tools are all processes which are designed to detect or predict failure points in complex multi-step processes. Risk assessment determines the qualitative as well as quantitative value of any risk. Although the qualitative component estimates the degree of harm, the quantitative component is determined from the magnitude of potential loss and the probability that loss will occur. Hazard analysis is a process used to evaluate risk. When these risks are deemed unacceptable, options for controlling or eliminating risk are identified. Fault tree analysis uses Boolean logic to quantitatively identify the probability of safety hazards. Types of Failure Modes and Effects Analysis FMEA. There are various types of FMEA. Even though what is being analyzed is somewhat different and the assessment criteria may change some, the step-by-step -step approach or technique still remains the same. There are three main types of FMEA in use today. System FMEA, Design FMEA, Process FMEA. System Failure Mode and Effects Analysis This type of failure mode and effects analysis is mainly used to analyze complete system and or subsystems during the concept of design stage. This is the highest level analysis of an entire system which is made up of various subsystems. Let's understand the importance of system failure mode and effects analysis with the help of an example. A team of four doctors conducted system FMEA in the nephrology and dialysis department of the hospital. 
Hello doctors, as you all know that here we gathered to perform system failure mode and effects analysis in the nephrology and dialysis department of our hospital to identify potential failure modes, effects and causes that may prevent a system from achieving all of its system objectives. Yes ma'am, we understand the criticality of the system. Alright, let's start. You people find out and make report on how many beds are available currently for hemodialysis in the department and how many hemodialysis treatment were given to non-hospitalized patients, hospitalized patients and referred patients in this year till now. Report me within three days. Also identify each and every area of the system where system failure mode and effects analysis are needed and provide a report on this to me. Okay ma'am. So, have you analyzed and made the reports which I had asked for? Show me the reports. Yes ma'am. Ma'am, we have found that currently there are 20 beds for hemodialysis and we have provided 7572 hemodialysis treatment to non-hospitalized patients and 1252 hospitalized patients whereas 4,344 to referred patient dialysis. Yes, and I also have identified where we need to perform system FME. These are drawing up and updating of patient's dialysis session, supplying material, technical preparation, patient admission, hemodialysis start, hemodialysis treatment, hemodialysis end, patient discharge, monitoring and room cleaning. Good job guys, now let's start the performing SFMEA on the identified area. Ok ma'am. System FMEA has helped in analyzing potential problems early in the event where it is easier to take actions to overcome these issues, thereby enhancing reliability through design. Design failure mode and effect analysis. This quality tool is used to analyze a product design before it is released to manufacturing and hence it focuses on product design usually at the subsystem level or component level. Let's understand with the help of an example that how DFMEA is used. A senior doctor who is also the head of the management of hospital discusses the interior design issues of an ambulance with a design engineer. I have called you to discuss the issue of interior design of our ambulance. My team is facing problem and I am expecting the solution from you. May I know what issues are you facing? Our ambulance team find it's very difficult to place and access the equipments and accessories in the ambulance. Even patient also does not feel comfortable because of the congested area inside and feel suffocated due to insufficient ventilation. I think you need to redesign the interior of ambulance in order to provide comfort and convenience to patients, his relatives and ambulance team. Please check our ambulance design layout and let me know your suggestions. Sir, we need to perform design failure mode and effect analysis which basically is the application of the failure mode and effects analysis method specifically to product service design and then we will take actions accordingly. Steps include design review, brainstorm potential failure modes and their effects, develop action plans to reduce vital RPNs and further implement the improvements identified. I hope that you understand the significance of this process. Yes of course, please execute this further. This was how the use of design FMEA has actually showed a path to process further to design ambulance interior layout.